Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another video of Hip Hop Ramble. And right now we're talking about the love of hip hop. Love triangle cast out of Hollywood. Now, you know what's crazy right now? Back in the day, B2K was that boy group that every boy wanted to be and every girl wanted to be with. But now that everybody older, everybody is sleeping with everybody in this damn case. Now, I'm a big love and hip hop fan from Atlanta to Miami to Hollywood, however you want to do it. But right now, we talk this damn love channel that they got going on. And why the fuck? B2, B2K member is dating their exes. Exes. Omarion ex April Jones addressed the little fierce love channel comments. She said, y'all got her fucked up. We can see how y'all got her fucked up. April Jones had enough of being talked about by her exes, Omarion and LaFiz, the B2K members that I was saying, and she wants to have her say. In a recent Instagram live, Jones responded to Omarion's appearance on the Jason Lee show, where he discussed the process of coming to terms with the B2K's bandmate LaFiz dating Jones in 2019 after Jones and Omarion, who had two children together, broke up. Now that's cold and that's dirty. Now these boys were like best friend or more or almost like brothers. And you go behind your friend back and start dating his baby mom. Now everybody know if you remember when Love and Hip Hop Hollywood came out back in like 2016, 2017, how in love they was, but even had them two children. I think April was already pregnant when the, when the show first was casted on um, VH1. Now, everybody knows B2K been broken for a very long time. Then they were talking about you uh, have a, uh, a re reunite with a tour. It never happened. And I guarantee this has something to do with it, with snakes. Like they say, cut your ground low so you can see the snakes. You feel me? And guess what? I keep mine cut low. Better keep your, better keep your cut low because if not, the snakes will come out and stab in your fucking back. Because this is nasty. This is fucked up. My personal opinion. Jones' message hinted that she had dirt on her ex. She made references to people talking about her in the media. Though she did not name anyone specific, but we already know who she was talking about. She said if a man or a woman does not want to be exposed, then start being good to people that are that you are with. Why would you think that a person you feel like other shit is supposed to protect you? She said she refused to do that anymore. Now, that tells you she's at her breaking point, and she ready to spill the fucking beans. Go ahead and spill the beans to the blog so I can get it, and I can post it for my subscribers and my followers. We need that April Jones. There says if you ever see the video, go ahead and expose who you trying to expose. Uh, we trying to get the tea. April Jones' message was that she wanted to be able to tell her side of the story. She said, put me in an interview with Jason Lee, put her in the room so she can say how she feels. Give her a fair shot, park up because it hasn't been fair to her. She don't say no name constantly over and over again. I haven't been able to tell my side of the story. That's what she was saying in the, um, the blog, in the paragraph. Jones said that up until now, she had been quiet, but implied she doesn't want to stay that way no more. So whatever she's talking about, she's going to expose some dirt sooner or later. Told you she ain't came to the end of the road with the bullshit. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notification bell for time to drop a banger. Remember, it's Hip Hop Ramble. I'm just giving it to you like I said. Yeah.